is up you guys it's Eliza and welcome back to my channel and today is finally the start of my 2020 plan monthly plan with me because my previous vid in my previous video I showed you guys my 2020 bullet journal spreads slash setup and now I am presenting to you my January bullet journal setup my first plan with me monthly plan with me also if you guys didn't know, January is my birth month, so this is a little special to me, and I created a theme that is both suitable to New Year and something that I also like. So, enough chit-chatting, I'll see you guys in the outro. For now, I'll hand you over to the voiceover. So this month's theme is kind of like a sparkling gold. Like I said, it's the New Year's but then it's also my birth month and one of my favorite colors is gold. So I just think that this theme fits perfectly. Also the main material or pen that I'm using this month is this Dong A My Metals pen. Which I honestly thought was gold, but Lana pointed out to me that it's bronze. But for me, that looks like gold on paper. Anyways, flipping on to the next page, I am making my monthly calendar. So basically, this is just a standard box type calendar. I'm not sure if that's what it's called. But yeah, I'm making five rows in seven columns and then I'm putting a label at the top. As you guys can see, I messed up and started with Monday. When I am used to starting my calendar with Sunday, so I tore a piece of uh, paper of my bullet journal and pasted that on top of my mistakes and it looks good as new. So, I wrote Sunday to Saturday. And then, I just referred to my calendar in my phone. And I alternately put gold and black dots all over the calendar. And then, I put on the numbers black on top of gold and gold on top of black. I hope that makes sense. And then, finally, at the side, I'm making a January title and then drawing more sparkling like fireworks around the next spread is my mood tracker and basically i am making a graph type of a tracker and i will draw a graph depending on my mood each day well not really graphs each day circles each day and then i will connect those circles so that it looks like a graph Next to that is a New Year playlist. I saw Amanda Rachley do this and I'm kind of inspired. I thought it was a fun way to add some personal aspects to your bullet journal. So I drew this kind of like headphones and a phone because I'm, I love having a minimalistic design and one of the favorite items that I received this Christmas is a pair of headphones. And then I printed out a bunch of covers of my favorite songs and pasted them in with a glue tape. If you guys are curious, my number one song that I have been listening every single day is High Hopes by Panic at the Disco. I love it so much. The second one is Into the Unknown, also by Panic at the Disco. And might be cliche, but it's actually stuck in my head. The third one is Empire by Wenji featuring Minnie. And she has been killing it with her songs, guys. I mean, for her to feature Minnie by, from G Idol is such a milestone for her. The fourth one is Go Up by SB19. Of course, gotta support my P-pop. And the fourth one is The Other Side by Funnel Vision, and I love this song. The next page is kind of like a birthday 
brain dump or I'm calling it a scrapbook because again, it's my birth month and every time when I'm feeling sad or angry or stressed, I can just write out my thoughts here and scrapbook my way. Finally, we are on to the first weekly spread for January. And I'm just making these charts for seven charts and divided it with a small box at the top and longer one at the bottom. The top one is for events and the bottom is for tasks. And I actually made a mistake because January only has four days for the first month. So I wrote out December 29, 30, and 31 with a fine liner. And then at the bottom, I made a habit tracker. I like having a weekly habit tracker because it makes me more motivated to fill it out instead of flipping every single day to a single page habit tracker. Sometimes I'm lazy like that so I like having it all in one page. This clip might have been cut out for some reason but next to that I made a water intake tracker which I actually needed so basically after I drink a glass of water for a day, I will fill in a box and after the second glass, fill in another box and so on and so forth. And then to the right, I am making a sleep tracker because as a student, you can understand me, we can go overboard sometimes and sleep late. So I wanted to track my sleep, if that makes sense. And yeah, basically that is it for January, you guys. Oh, actually not. I'm just drawing some more sparkling fireworks because I have been missing them out in some of my spreadsheets. But anyways, here's a final overview of my January setup. I am loving it. It's very simple and yet elegant with all the gold and black. And I hope you guys... Love it as well and have some inspiration for your bullet journal. So I hope you guys like my January setup. I hope it inspired you to make your own. This video might be a little late. But yeah. Anyways, don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button down below. And next to it is a notification bell. So you should click that as well for my next upload. Click the like button down there if you want to see more plan with me. And also comment down below. Ooh, okay. Comment down below if you watch my vlog in my vlogging channel. Which by the way, if you're not subscribed, go subscribe there, Liza's Vlogs. Comment down if you have watched my vlogmas this year. Because I am curious. I think that is it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.